It is the year 137 AD, 890 years after the establishment of Rome. It has been hundreds of years since the Romans have reigned over a region ranging from the north of Turkey to the south of Syria and have declared it Eastern Rome. The Romans consider themselves to be the most civilized people of their time. But although their architecture, urbanization and civility are commendable, they are notorious for allowing the decline of human values and a rise of barbarism. Philadelphia, one of the states in Eastern Rome, is the present day Oman, the capital of Jordan. Couriers from Rome have arrived in Philadelphia, carrying news for the governor Diocletian. The Roman emperor Hadrian will be arriving in Eastern Rome very soon and the state of Philadelphia is on his route. This news is a source of great happiness for the Romans. Diocletian, or as known by the native people as Decius, is an authoritative and merciless governor. After the ascent of Christ, the son of Mary, to heaven, his religion is gradually spreading and this Rome deems unacceptable. The Romans worship the god of Olympus and various deities and cannot tolerate the fall of idol worship and the spread of monotheism. Consequently, the followers of Christianity are strongly opposed, threatened and tortured. However, despite their efforts to date, they have failed to prevent the spread of the new religion. sunrise. Maybe you will not see tomorrow's sun. Today you will set forth on your journey. But where to? To your almighty God. Will he allow this rebellious being to join him? Oh, my compassionate Lord, even if you forgive this worthless person and you pull this wretched man into your merciful embrace, I know myself. What can I do with all this remorse? You have not slept the whole night, Pluton. I shall soon sleep. A very long sleep. Followed by an eternal wakefulness. Plutonius, what if there is no life after death? And no reward for all this suffering? Is it possible that the pledge made by thousands of truthful prophets will not be fulfilled? No. No. Plutonius Sanctus, stand up. Open the gate. Stand up. Where are you taking him? To court. This way. Do not be afraid, Do not be afraid, Don't 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 be afraid, Don't
Plutonius Sanctus. Nationality? Roman. Rome. This city, Philadelphia. Read out the charges. Plutonius Sanctus, instead of worshipping the idols and bowing down to the holy sculpture of Emperor Hadrian, he has defiled it. And not only has he refused to show remorse, he has also denied the existence of the lofty deities of Rome and the almighty Jupiter. And he has adopted Christianity and the religion of launderers and slaves. Is this true? Yes. Your punishment is death. But of the worst kind, you will be cast into the fire. However, I want to offer you an opportunity. I've heard your superior is a person by the name of Adonia. If you reveal his whereabouts, I might show you some leniency. Mm. You fool. This court sentences Platonius Sanctus to capital punishment for the defiling of the Emperor's sculpture, worshipping a foreign god and causing havoc amongst the servants of the Empire. According to this verdict, you shall be burned to death at noon outside the temple of the Apollo. Take him away. You warden, come take him! Pluton, what happened? Today, I shall burn like a butterfly in the flames. Huh? Fire? Yes. Fire. Oh. Meaning the most harsh of punishments? The harshest punishment for the worst crime. Destroying the sculpture of the Emperor. Why? Fire? What difference does it make, Adnan? Yes, there is a difference. In the past, they used to burn adulterers, witches, and those who committed incest. But today, they burn believers. In the end, I am to die. How I die is of no consequence. Whether I die in the fire, am crucified, or thrown in the lion's cage, 
I will soon be buried in this soil. What wonderful harmony. I was born of this earth. I have been nourished by it. And I shall be buried in it. But... But I am afraid. You mean you are scared of death? No. Not of death. I am scared of being reborn. You know, I've calculated that I have been alive for several thousand days. Do you know how many days I've truly lived? Only one year. Since the very first day I met Adonia. Before that, I disobeyed God many times. God have mercy. With these hands, these eyes, these feet, and now in my final hour, I do not know whether God has forgiven me. Do not worry, Pluton. In this short time, you have made up for it. You've redeemed yourself. And now you're sacrificing your life for your cause. Take that! I shall defeat you! You're mistaken. You can't. You never uh, ever will. Uh, you shall see. We will see. I am a skilled swordsman. Uh, Take uh, that! What happened, Galus? I am dying. Let me kiss you. Wait. <laughs> you dare kill me. Quiet. Perrin, take that bit away. I am an old man. How many times must I die at your hands every day? We have games. Yes, my lady. I want to play. We must try our best to support the needy. No doubt you, with all your prudence and wisdom, are more than qualified to safeguard the followers and crusaders of the new religion. <laughs> Secondly, you, as the son-in-law of Diocletian and husband to Lady Helen, can make the utmost use of your influence in the palace. Hmm? Your Excellencies, Your Highness, Mm. A soldier from the palace has arrived. I think he is carrying a message from the de, 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 All right, let him in. Yes, sir. Come in, soldier. He still cannot pronounce it properly. He says Decius instead of Diocletian. <laughs> <laughs> Go forward. Good day, Your Excellencies. Good day. His Highness Diocletian has summoned you and the city's authorities to his palace to discuss an urgent matter. Very good. Will there be nothing else, sir? Let me go. So, what has happened? We will soon know. Galus, prepare my carriage. Yes, sir. You proceed towards the palace. I will join you as soon as I can. Try to prevent them from noticing my absence. Proceed, proceed. I do not know why they've called the city's authorities here. <laughs> greetings, 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 greetings. 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 Welcome, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Well, greetings. Greetings. Are greetings. Everyone. They, are they are late. They are late. Uh, they are late. Uh, I do not know why they are here. Greetings, 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 greetings to all. Greetings to you, Judge Gaius. Greetings, greetings to your excellencies. Greetings to you and the authorities. Greetings, greetings, greetings to you. Greetings to all. Greetings, Judge Gaius. How nice. Your excellency, Judge Gaius. Can I have your attention for a moment? I wish to present a report on the proceedings of the court trials. Your Excellencies, His Highness Diocletian is busy negotiating with couriers who have just arrived from Rome. Mm. You must await his arrival. 
fine. We will attend to our report. Eleven people have been arrested today. Six of them Christians, and the rest have committed to other crimes. Any news of the trials? No, I do not have any good news. No. Most Christians show resistance. But there are others who cannot resist and repent, or are forced to do so. Do the repentant cooperate as well? Some of them do. For example, one of the believers in the Trinity led us to Adonia, the missionary's hideout. Did you arrest him? No, Your Highness. He is valuable bait. If we keep an eye on him, we can arrest him and his followers all at once. All right. So make sure we do not lose sight of the bait. I will assign someone to watch over him. Yes. 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 God, I trust in you. God, accept me. Take him away. Be quiet, I say. Be quiet. Stop it, all of you. Stop it. Quiet. Quiet. Don't take him away. Plutarch. Silence. Be Let brave. Take your Stand back. Farewell, Be Plutarch. quiet. Farewell. Be Silence. Strong, Don't take Plutarch. him away. Go away. The way God revenge, Plutarch. God will have vengeance on the false idols. Beware the idol gods. They are not the true gods. Death be upon the false idols. Death be upon the false idols. Be strong, Plutarch. Be strong! We are with you! We are behind you! We're behind you, Pluton! He must be burned. Yes. Walk faster. Hurry up. Move. Stand back. Let us pass. Quiet! Quiet! Stand back! You must die! You must be burned! Move. Burn him! Clear the way! Burn Stand him! Stand back! Stand back! String him up! Move it! Him. Why haven't they brought that godless man yet? Here he comes! The best punishment for them is to be burned to death! Long live Judge Goyos! <laughs> if his punishment is to burn, then what is yours? It seems you have forgotten that you also worship their god. Jews worship none other than their own god, Jehovah! Whoever worships any god other than the gods of Rome deserves to die, even if he is a descendant of the Jews. You have no right to insult the Jewish people! Back off, you Hi. wretched man! Be quiet. What is going on here? Calm down. Move. Clear the way. Clear the way. Stand back. Stand back. Move. Traitor! Move it, you damn fool! He must be killed! 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 He must be
have sentenced Plutonius Sanctus of Philadelphia to death for denouncing the gods and for refusing to offer sacrifices to the holy sculpture of the emperor and for defiling the sculpture and embracing the false religion of Jesus of Nazareth. This is the punishment of those who follow the new religion and disobey the commands of Rome. The court has ruled that he be burned to death. The sentence will be carried out here today and his corpse after incineration will be on display for three days and nights for the birds to feed upon and as a lesson to all those who have relinquished the powerful gods of Rome and the holy religion of the empire. A lesson to those who adhere to the religion of the worthless. He's a traitor. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Godless Kill him. man. Kill him. He must die. God he he must, must die. die. He's a traitor. God he commands. There's only one true God. Don't God. forget that. When you are Kill dying, him. believe in God. God. Stop. Your Highness. Plutonius Sanctus, do you have anything to say before your death? Every convict is given one last chance to speak. of Mary said the truth which in the darkness you fear to speak will one day in daylight be heard and the faith which you have learned in the privacy of your homes will one day be shouted from the rooftops. Look at him, look at him. He must traitor. die. Start the, start the burning now. Light the torches. Kill him. He must be burned. Kill him! Straight! 
His Excellency Diocletian. Oh. 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 Ah. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings. Greetings. Greetings, greetings Your Highness. Greetings. Greetings, 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 Your Highness. Greetings. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings. Greetings, Your Highness. 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 I am happy. <laughs> I am happy to see you all here. <laughs> I don't see Maximilian here. His Highness Maximilian is a very disciplined and punctual person. He will be here shortly, Your Highness. Uh. It appears Your Highness Diocletian has summoned us here for an urgent matter. Yes, it is as such. Philadelphia will soon see its most glorious day to date. A day which quite possibly may never be repeated in the history of this city. We must spend today discussing an important matter. Couriers have brought news that very soon the eastern territories of the great Roman Empire will be blessed by a visit from the Emperor Hadrian. <laughs> Thanks be to Jupiter the Great. Thank that we should be granted such a blessing. <laughs> he will probably pay Philadelphia a short visit on his way to Jerusalem. What a Praise be to God. <laughs> Praise be to bless God. Philadelphia. God bless Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say he is likely to visit? A meeting you are not certain? It is possible that he may alter the route of his journey. But for now, 
This is his decision and we must be prepared. Praise be to Jupiter the Great. What an honor to meet the Emperor. No. A meeting with the God of Rome and the God of half the world. This honor is not bestowed on many people. I have heard that His Highness Diocletian served alongside the Emperor in the war. Yes, when the Trojan Empire reigned, His Highness Hadrian was in command of the great Roman army. And I was one of his senior officers. Is it true that you saved His Royal Highness Hadrian's life? Mm. Excuse me, Your Highness. What I heard was a very strange occurrence. In the war with the Iranians, the enemy attacked very suddenly and forced many of the Romans to withdraw. His Highness Hadrian was surrounded by the enemy. A moment of hesitation would have cost him his death. Hm. But then His Highness Diocletian, realizing the severity of the situation, wastes no time and charges through the enemy forces in his carriage to rescue his highness. Blessings. 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 So this means that his highness Hadrian owes his life to his excellency Diocletian. Does that mean that the god of the people owes his life to one of his servants? You, as a senior advisor, should not make such an unwise remark. It is not a strange statement. Only gods can rescue gods. But you know servants are like instruments to the gods. And sometimes gods use them to rescue one another. Mm, however, it must be acknowledged that the life of His Highness Hadrian was saved by His Excellency Diocletian before His Highness Hadrian was declared a god. Certainly. Let me see. He owns an expensive carriage for someone with such a humble home. Are you referring to Sanctus? No, he appears to have guests. So his name is Sanctus? Yes, Plutonius Sanctus. So the owner of the house is Plutonius Sanctus. Where are you going? What about your horseshoes? Boss! Boss! Has he gone? Didn't you want horseshoes? What's the matter with you? It, I will offer my opinion regarding the Emperor's visit. Proceed. I am certain that the Emperor's visit is not without purpose. Perhaps it's because of the Israelites and their defiance regarding the construction of Jupiter's temple. 
this visit may also be to intimidate the followers and worshippers of Jehovah. Hmm? Yes. That is exactly the case. What fools they are, these Israelites, for believing that they can challenge the mighty Roman Empire, the gods of Olympia, and the great Mercury. <laughs> if from the very start they had allowed the construction of the Temple of Jupiter, the installment of the Empress sculpture in the Temple of Jerusalem, they wouldn't have suffered so many casualties. <laughs> <laughs> what should have taken place, with little bloodshed, has instead taken over three years. The Israelites have caused countless deaths with their defiances. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> and still more foolish, the Christians. I don't know what they see in this unseen god of theirs that makes them choose him over the great gods of Rome and makes them devout enough to sacrifice their lives for him. A god that man cannot envisage. Hmm. That is neither male nor female. A god in whose likeness a sculpture cannot be built. How can they worship such a god? If he was a powerful god, his followers would not be so weak and pitiful. Do not worry, Your Highness. There is no limit to the lunacy of men. He could not even defend his own prophet. A bunch of Jews crucified him. Behold the grandeur of Apollon, the son of the great Jupiter as opposed to the weak and the helpless, son of their god. <laughs> it's said that, in actual fact, their religion does not see Jesus as the son of God, but as his prophet. After the crucifixion of Christ, a Christian missionary uh added this story of father and son to the faith in order to attract more Romans to the religion. Maybe they learned from the Romans to create a son for their god, huh? <laughs> Excuse me, Your mm -hmm. Highness, but is today's meeting to discuss the specifics of Christianity? Or has Your Highness Diocletian called us here to discuss a more important issue? Very good. We have far more important matters to attend to. Certainly, the Emperor's visit will require much preparation, and today's meeting is to discuss how we are to do that. The Emperor's arrival in Philadelphia must be an epic event. You, my dear Plutus. Yes, Your Highness. You must renovate all the temples. You must have a sculpture of Augustus installed in them. The temple of Apollon, Puriton, Sebir, Mercury, Piana, and even Mitra. <laughs> Restore anything and everything which can be named a temple, and the gods worship therein, whether Roman or otherwise. And our dear mayor, Sudilanus, I want a new sculpture of Janus, the god of gates, built and installed at the city's main entrance. Understood? <laughs> yes, Your Highness. And Martinus, head of the treasury. In light of the long-lasting friendship between the Emperor and myself, we must procure a gift worthy of him. But how? As of today, double the taxes. But how, Your Highness? We are barely able to collect the current taxes. My dear Martinus, this is not Rome. The people we are dealing with are not considered human beings. They're a bunch of animals, and we do not milk them for ourselves. <laughs> milk will go to their calves. <laughs> we must milk them. We must milk them. Milk them for all they've got. <laughs> and finally, my dear Dinasius, I want a stadium suitable for the Emperor. Gather many gladiators, fierce, ferocious lions, bears, and of course, a great many Christians. Why Christians, Your Highness? I know that violence is not compatible with the nature of physicians. 
I'm surprised at you. You never used to be so simple-minded, Telmika. So let me ask you, how are wild lions and bears supposed to entertain the Emperor? <laughs> well, it's obvious. Land of Philadelphia must be saturated in blood. In the blood of Christians. <laughs> Yes, your highness. Find Adonia immediately and advise him to relocate. It is possible that Pluton confessed under torture. You mean Pluton? Uh, yes. Your highness, if Pluton had confessed, Adonia would have been detained by now. How can we be sure that they are not watching him from afar? Biding their time so they can arrest him and his followers all at once? So, is it necessary to take this precaution? Hmm. You see, Galus, if you must live in a cage with a lion, you must use more precaution than what your good sense dictates, hmm? Take care of yourself. It is possible that Adonia is under surveillance. Yes, Your Highness. Hey. Hey. Come here, young man. Look after this horse until I return. Yes, sir. Pay attention. Yes, sir. I'm here to see Matthias. It's extremely important. Wait right here. Greetings, sir. To you, I am devout. What news is there? You seem quite I have elated. stalked him. First he attended the ritual of burning that Christian. Good. Afterwards, he went to the home of that Christian's father. Good. Wait in the courtyard. Yes, Your Highness, at your service. 